Hi guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and I'm here with Corey, and we're at the Institute of Military Technology. And he's going to take us down the road here of a platform that I've seen when I was a kid and I've read about. It's a super interesting conversion of an O3 Springfield. So, Corey, if you would please give us some highlights here. It's pretty interesting. So Sure. Thank you for coming, Jerry. Thank you for coming to the Institute of Military Technology. What we've got here is what's called a Pedersen device. It was uh, invented by a guy named John Pedersen. What it was was a way to convert a Springfield rifle into something that was a little better for close quarters combat. And the reason you needed such a thing at that time was that you had your five shot 30-06 Springfield, right. which was great trying to get across the plains and everything, trying to get to the enemy German trench. Had an effective range, 600, maybe 800 meters, perfectly good uh, for long range. The problem was when you got there and you jumped into the enemy German trench, a five shot bolt action is possibly the worst CQB yeah, gun yeah. you could possibly have. It takes a lot of work. So <laughs> what, uh, what we're gonna try to invent then is a way to bridge that gap, right? So we're gonna have a conversion kit. Okay. And what we're gonna do is, one thing that's real neat about this Springfield is you can flip this little switch right here. Right. Into a neutral position. Bolt comes out just that quick. We're gonna put that in our pocket. Might right? need it later. Right. <laughs> and uh, Good deal. let's put him back here so we lose our bolt. Then, out of a, a pouch that we would carry, and I'll show you that here in just a okay. second, we're going to take out a new bolt and we're going to plug that in. Then, out of another pouch that we're going to carry on our side, we're going to okay. take out our magazine. We're going to plug our magazine in. And what was the round count on that, on that mag? 40 rounds. 40 rounds. You had 40 rounds on this so magazine. So we're going from five shots to 40 rounds. Right. And so basically what you're going to do yeah. is just that quick, you're going to convert your five shot 30-06 into a pistol cartridge, semi-automatic submachine right, gun. Right. Right? Uh, there's a lot of advantages for this. A lot of people say, well, it's kind of a wimpy pistol cartridge, and that's probably true. If we look here, we can see, of course, the size of the magazine, so the round can't be a whole lot bigger than that. Right. You can see on this 1903 what's called a Mark I. They called it a Mark I because they were cutting out the side of this receiver for the ejection port, right? As this thing cycles back on semi-automatic, your, your pistol cartridge has to fly out somewhere. That's where it's going to come out there. So you can see how small it is. Of course, we still have a 30 caliber bore. So it's a wimpy little pistol cartridge, not entirely unlike a 32 ACP or something like that. Right, right. But it yeah. was pushing about 1,400 feet per second. So, you know, it was fairly effective, what, at least. But the idea is, you're in a trench, so the, the targets of opportunity are going to be contact range and maybe 20 yards. So, right. something like this with 40 rounds when you're in close encounters is a lot better than trying to work a boat and run five round strippers. So, the, 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 con the conception behind this was to give the guy on the ground fast firepower when he needed it at close quarters. You're absolutely right. So, one thing that we should probably mention about this thing, too, is as you mentioned, kind of a rare piece. Not many people have seen one. People have estimated anywhere as little as eight, anywhere as a hundred have survived. Uh, I would estimate somewhere about 40 have survived. Right. So uh, yeah. for us to have an example of this at the Institute of Military Technology, we're very happy and proud to be able to display something like that. And real quick, to show you how the infantrymen would have carried this okay, the across kit. the battlefield, we've got a kind of a mannequin, sort of a mock-up here. And you Go can around. see sort of a a World War I pant and a World War I uh, uh, boot cover and, okay. and sort of yep. a bandolier pouch that he would have carried. Now you see this, this uh, contraption here. This is where your Pedersen device belt, uh, bolt would, carry. Would, have, would have been. And here you can see where your extra magazines would have been. Okay. And, uh, and our mannequin here also has his 1903 bolt in so his he's pocket. already booted up for the Pedersen. Yep, he's ready to go jump in the enemy German trench. That's quite a quite a rig. When you when you think about the time period and the thought put behind that, it was actually a secret weapon of the day. Absolutely. And the cartridges were Mark 30 pistol, if I remember right. Well, and, and that's a fantastic point. They were marked 30 caliber pistol because it was a super top secret project, and they didn't want to give away the fact that they were building conversion kits. Right. So they told everybody they were making a 30 caliber pistol. Pretty unique in the whole aspect. So there it is, guys. You have something that was super secret, never really made it to the battlefield, but a lot of American ingenuity. There again, blue steel and walnut, real today, beautiful guns. Thank you, Corey. Sure. Thanks for coming here. Thank you.